I spoke at the masterclass about psychological care for patients and caregivers affected by myeloma and AL amyloidosis. Um, I touched on why psychological support is important for this group of patients, as well as their caregivers, what specialist psychological therapy professionals or psychologists can offer in this setting, but also what can we do to help our medical or nursing colleagues get better at using psychological skills in their consultations with patients, because emotional distress can arrive at any time. It doesn't wait for a psychologist. And so um, how do we do both those things? How do we ensure specialist support is available in, in the form of access to psychotherapy? But also how does every member of the treating team uh, get better at providing some basic emotional psychological support to any patient or caregiver in a consultation? Caregivers' needs are often not paid that much attention. Um, that's often not deliberate, but ends up happening accidentally, partly because even caregivers themselves feel like it's the patient who's going through the disease and the treatment, and so their own feelings matter less. And so I think it's vitally important that any psychological support provision also goes towards the caregiver uh, because they are the person the patient's going to be leaning on. And if their needs are not looked after, that's actually going to be detrimental in terms of patient outcomes as well. Not to mention the fact that caregivers are people in their own right who are experiencing the same helplessness, anxiety, fear that the patients are. And if we're not supporting that, we are letting the whole family system or the system around the patient down. I think it's sometimes difficult to recognize when you are suffering emotionally, um, especially in a physical health setting when the focus is so much on physical symptoms of the patient. For both the patient and the caregiver, it can be difficult to recognize that I'm really struggling emotionally or psychologically. I think it can be, it's difficult to sort of capture this in one or two minutes, but I think if you are persistently feeling like you're not sleeping, if you're feeling as the caregiver, like you are feeling exhausted, you are not able to concentrate, you are feeling irritable or getting angry easily, this applies to the patient as well. Um, if you are feeling tearful and emotional, without being able to pick yourself up from it. Because of course, tears and fears are very common and normal as part of this journey. But if your mode is persistently low and you're not able to find or connect with things that lift you out of that, I think whether you're a patient or a caregiver, those might be some signs that you need some additional help and support uh, through professionally speaking to somebody. I also spoke about how if you are a new center or relatively small center that doesn't have access to specialist embedded psychological therapists or psychologists in the team, what other supportive events or uh, activities you can put together that can be of benefit to the patient and caregiver, such as patient support groups, which has expert speakers that you might invite who could be psychologists, but who could also be nurse specialists or oncologists, um, and actually Peer support is such an important part of psychological support within myeloma and AL amyloidosis because of the nature of these conditions and how long treatment and illness journeys can be for people. So there's a lot that can be done even if treatment centers think we can't get psychologists in right now, we don't have the funding for it. If you start to think about psychological care, there are other things you can put in place without getting to that step.